Okay, welcome. Welcome to week 11. Can you believe that? The uh, semester is certainly uh, moving along very nicely. I'll be uh, working on uh, grading, assessing your PowerPoints this morning. I'm looking forward to that. But now I wanted to help you get started on your uh, next major step. This is actually the place where you actually write the paper. And this particular video is going to cover two weeks. You have one week now, less than one week actually, to actually write your paper. It's due Sunday night and it's due to the peer review discussion. Okay, You don't send me the paper yet. I'm not going to look at it. You guys as peers are going to look at it. You're going to do peer review. Now I know that very often in the past um, peer review hasn't gone well for you. I know most of you did this in 131. You may have done this in high school. and It's somewhat problematic. And um, what I say about peer review is it's not so much for you reviewing other people's papers, all right, although that's an important part of it. What it's really for is to give you a chance to actually look at other people's paper and to model and imitate what they're doing well. Okay, You kind of know what level writer you are. And so if you look at somebody else's writing and say, oh, wow, they're level above me, how can I adapt my own writing to their writing to reach their level? Okay, So please, as you do peer review, don't just look at the topic. Look at the writing itself and say, huh, okay, am I a better writer than this person or are they a better writer than me? And if they are a better writer, why is that and what can I do to model that. Okay, It's not stealing, it's not plagiarizing, it's modeling. So that said, to repeat, your paper is due Sunday night to the peer review discussion. Then after that, during uh, week 12, you have a full week to get in there and play around and be looking at each other's papers. And then after that, you have another week to revise your own paper. That's the entire point, is to turn into me a polished draft, not a rough draft. Now I've had some students turn in real garbage to me and when I assess it as garbage, they get angry at me somehow and say, Oh, you didn't tell me my writing was bad. Or, oh, I didn't know I had to do that. Don't pull that on me, please, this semester, okay? Look at each other's writing, doing the peer review process here. You've got two full weeks and turn in to me your best effort. You should also turn in your best effort to peer review because I tell you, I'll be looking at the comments and students get very irritated when they have to read other people's garbage. It's one thing to not be a, you know, a polished writer, that's okay, but to be a lazy writer, that's not okay. All right, so don't pull that off. So there, there's a warning. Okay, so I've explained peer review. I've covered the due dates. By Sunday night, end of week 11, you're to have turned a good draft into peer review. By Sunday night, end of week 12, you are to have looked at everybody's peer review and participated in it. Looked at everybody's drafts, excuse me, and participated in it, and and kind of have an understanding of where you are vis-a-vis -vis the other writers in the class. And then at the week end of week 13, and I'll have another video between now and then, you actually turn the paper into me. That said, what are we expecting the paper to look like right now, okay? If you will go to the syllabus and look on pages 5 through 7, I very clearly have spelled out exactly the expectations of this paper. I'll go over it very quickly. Uh, a tenth of your grade is going to be on formatting and citing. You know, we've gone over this numerous times, and you've gone over this in W131. Another tenth of your grade is, of course, things like grammar, service issues, quotes. Make sure your quotes are well integrated. If you don't understand what I mean by an integrated quote by now, you can email me and I can send you some more help files. All right. Uh, another 10% is based on tone and clutter. All right. Tone and clutter is, you know, to use stupid statements like I think, I believe. Don't do that. All right. Uh, clutter means you use extra words that have no meaning to keep the reader from getting to your point. And then, of course, there's repetition. Don't repeat yourself. Don't use the same words over and over again. So that's also worth a tenth of your grade. Five percent of your grade is based on the quality of your introduction and your thesis statement. Another five percent is based on your conclusion. Basically, the intro and the conclusion just need to match each other. You need to end the paper where you began it. It's that simple, all right? Paragraphs, you know, I'm big on paragraphs. That's 15 percent of your paper. Do not begin your paragraphs with source material. Begin your paragraphs, please, with topic sentences. Uh, paragraph development. That means, is there enough detail, enough examples, enough illustrations, and of course enough source material in your paragraph to thoroughly develop the point, the point being your topic sentence. Organization, does it have some kind of flow to it? Have you used transitions skillfully to show the reader you know, how you get from one part of the paper to another? Page length, another 5%, critical. I don't think I said this. Organization is worth 5%, page length is worth 5%. And then critical thinking. Critical thinking is worth 20%. Critical thinking moves, did you drill on down through the ideas? Okay, are your ideas fresh, invigorating? Did you drill on down beyond the conventional wisdom? As the doors, Jim Morrison said, did you break on through to the other side here? Okay, it's that plain and simple. Critical thinking means pushing the envelope with your thinking. Not necessarily being creative, but being thorough. 
you know, get beyond the conventional wisdom. That's important. Now, those are all explained in more detail on pages. Uh, that's page five of your syllabus. Six and seven explain those in complete detail. All right. So please make sure you look at your syllabus. Please make sure you understand what's expected. You cannot. Um, the whole p purpose of this is revision. All right. You need to turn in a good draft so that your peers have something to work with, so that you have something to look at. Okay, with you know the other students in the class and then you have to turn in an excellent draft to me because I can generally help you about one letter grade. I can kind of teach you enough in this process to improve you by one letter grade. So if you turn in a lazy product, you know, I'm going to know that and I'm going to be irritated and that's going to push your grade downwards anyhow and make it much harder to get it uh, to, to get up to the grade you want. All right. So please don't insult your peers by turning in a lazy product and of course please don't insult me by turning in a lazy product. So to review very quickly you have a two-week period here for peer review, and then you have another week after that to actually turn the draft in to me. So at the end of this week, at the end of week 11, you have to turn in to the peer review discussions in the discussion forums. It's in the learning module where it's supposed to be. All right, you have to turn that in there to, uh, to that discussion, and then you have to review each other's. I won't be in there. I will not be looking at your papers. Do not expect comments from me. You won't get them. I'll make sure your papers are turned in on time. Okay, don't slide. I'll know. All right, so do that. But I won't get in there otherwise to make comments. That's for that's for you all to work on each other's papers together. And then after that two week period, you have one more week to revise your paper quarterly. Do not turn in the same draft to me that you turned into peer review. Don't do that. I'll know. Okay. And you'll and once again I just kind of psychologically push your grade down because I know when you're being lazy. So don't do that. Okay. You must turn in your best effort to me. So this is weeks 11 and 12. It's the peer review process. After week 12, you have one more week in which to actually uh, uh, polish up your paper really thoroughly and then turn it into me for my assessment. So I better quit yakking on. As usual, if you have questions, please email me.